Shimai GTA chums, people often ask me, how did I get into car customization? Well, this is actually how I did it. Um, it was really about uh, this little business, the uh, import-export um, garage, um, which you can access via the CEO um, business uh, group of Jazz. So filter by range, let's get... Um, basically, you only ever sell top range cars. That's the concept of this. This is how you make the money. We've got an Osiris, a T20. I'm really win wanting one with a really big wing on it. And I can't remember which one that is. I'm going to go for the T20, I think. I really want something different, I think. But I'm going to do it. So you can do it. You've got three options. Private, where it costs you nothing and 40 grand. But you pay 20 grand and you can sell it for 100 grand. But there are people in session which may destroy you. So remove the tracker. I mean, it's all customization, really, isn't it? So um, you can't pick a private reg on these things. Um, but you can... Um, you can respray it um, in some mighty fine colours. Um, obviously, we're going to do a matte black kind of look. Um, I used to do it matte black all the time um, because I thought that would hide it from people and they wouldn't kill me. But they still kill you anyway, so it makes zero difference. I think a lime green looks superb. Uh, secondary colour. We're also going to go for a matte black, I think, on the secondary. Now, that really, really pops. Um, um, so I used to really work hard on these and you'd get the wheel type and look at this, this is a cheetah kind of style of rim so you could, um, back in those days you only had the um, these rims so you could put the cheetah on if you wanted to, um, chromatic, where's a cheetah gone, there it is, cheetah RR uh, and then you'd kind of, uh, you'd colour it in um, black or whatever, you know, you could go crazy because you could really test yourself like the blaze red. Um, orange would look kind of funky, wouldn't it, don't you think? Uh, sunrise orange. But you can just go crazy without spending any money on your own cars. And um, you do interesting stuff like you put a tyre design on, you put a tyre smoke. Not the, I used to drive to deliver them as well initially. Um, that was a fun bit. Um, ooh, are we done? Oh, come on, mate. I think that is it. Um, so basic customization. It's not like... I can't put a wing on it, damn it. Okay. Okay. Mrs. Matey Lady is going to talk to us. No, the trick is, the we have our helicopter here. This is how we do it as a pro. And the main reason for this is because, actually, we're in an open session. So I reckon we would be okay um, just driving it. But knowing people in this... Actually, why have I left the door open? Um, that's a schoolboy error for a start. Um, press um, E and get your hook down deployed below. And then try and land it on. At this point, we're screwed if anyone tries to grief us. It's all over. Um, with a, if you put like um, a spoiler on, it helps um, that little hook to really contact. I seem to have parked it right next to a lamppost. Another error there. I've, do, I've done this fairly recently, but not massively recently that I remember um, where to park the helicopter. I always had a specific bit. I think I parked it a bit further forward and uh, we'd get it from there. Come on, mate. You can also pick up randomers as well with this helicopter, that's what's so good about it. You can do a bit of uh, random griefing. If you find somebody who's AFK, oh this is really annoying me, this lamppost, let's just knock it down shall we? Just get it out of the way. There we go. Okay. Oh come on, already we cost damage! Yeah, you'd get damage, you lose a bit of commission. See, I, oh, I knew that door was going to go badly, damn it. Um, yeah. I, I should have just got out and uh, put the... I knew it when I got out of the car and I got in the helicopter. I thought, hang on. But I thought, screw it. I'm just going to do it for the video. I'm not going to waste more of your time. Um, but you should deliver this in perfect condition. Now, the reason that why I switched to the helicopter um, is because I used to de deliver these in solo sessions. And when you're in a solo session, at about this point here, back there, just at the other end of that bridge, you'd get bad guys come out and start shooting you. So you'd find a spot where you'd park the car, get out of it and get in cover and just shoot the five waves of enemies or something like that, or maybe six waves of a couple of cars and they'd come in, just rock up and they'd try and blow you up. Um, but you just shoot them and then once they're gone, they're gone and you just do the delivery perfect, 100% condition. Not like this. Um, but well, hopefully we'll end the video by having a griefer just blow us up. We are very prone to griefers. They can lock on missiles with this um, hobby. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a good business. I, I still enjoy it from the, the customization perspective. Although you have a lot of... The cars are really the older cars, as you can tell from the selection there. But there are more cars than that. You can um, select them. The idea is you get the, you get the warehouse um, car warehouse full until you get car, 10 
um, top tier cars and then only 10 that's a maximum you can get and then you start selling them but you start selling as soon as you start accruing them top tier really um, and just make sure you always stay topped up with 10 the reason for that for me was um, whenever it went on double money which it used to always be double money never tap one and a half um, I'd only sell my vehicles at double money so they just sit there like they have been doing recently with 10 the maximum and I'd sell all 10 with the double money there's about a five minute a few minutes is it a five minute cooldown on singles if you do you can get your chums so you can do multi-sale I don't know what the max is whether it's whether it's um, four or what but I never really got my chums into it because I didn't I felt I shouldn't waste the time on stuff like that when I'm the only one profiting from it um, so hopefully we'll, we'll make money because it's a group session you also get a bonus minus three grand on it um, but we'll also get a bit of extra money as well um, actually 1% market value loss 1% so there we go 145 grand so you see that that's because we've got a full session so it would have been 150 grand you get 50% on top of that so that's what makes it a pretty good business all you do is sourcing vehicles take it's like a five minute job and you, this is essential for it really the jet sam but you can do it without this uh, as an entry level business you know it's a bit of an old business it's more for the fun now rather than for the money um but it's still something worth getting into just for the, pl the pure enjoyment of customizing cars and t you know experiment do some crazy crazy builds and then try and deliver them in the maelstrom of the uh, group's session anyway if you found this video useful then do drop a like but give me any comments any questions down below and i will try my very best to answer them but thank you very much for staying with it and watching the video till the very very end you are true heroes as my good chum shark car would say what a guy thank you